But aren't we just going to hand the country over to Justin Trudeau again? Aren't we going to just, you know, split that vote and give the country to Justin Trudeau again? Well, I have a simple question to ask, and I've asked every audience this that we've been to over the last while. Does anybody in the crowd today think that Aaron O'Toole has any chance of winning this next election? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. So listen, you have nothing to lose. Okay? You can't split the vote if there's no vote to split. Okay? So you have nothing to lose. And the other thing is, okay, so Aaron O'Toole does what he's doing. You guys vote 85% conservative. They lose again. And then what happens? You know what, he's, you know what Aaron O'Toole's going to do if you guys do that again? He's going to be like, see, I can do whatever I want and Alberta still votes for me. Yeah. Right? I can bring a carbon tax. I can do the Paris Agreement. I can do, I can say in the media like he has that I can afford to lose votes in Alberta. And they still vote for me. Well, listen, you know that phrase, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. And O'Toole has treated us all like suckers, right? He, you know, he said, I'm a blue conservative and all this, a blue Tory and all that. But now we know better. And if he's in the media saying, I can afford to lose votes in Alberta. Well, what a, what a way to pay you back for, for voting almost to a person conservative, right? And then the other day they say, well, you know, what about, you know, these movements, you know, Derek Sloan and all this. He's like, well, I don't want those people in my party anyways. He says, his party. that's right. Well, it is his party. He doesn't care at all what the grassroots think. We've seen that. Yeah. But the funny thing is, is that the people that are coming to my meetings are people like you. And Eric asked a question earlier, and I'll ask it again. How many people here have been long time conservative voters, donors, volunteers, supporters? Let's see the hands. Yeah. Wow. Almost the whole room. That's a good one. Do you like that, Mr. O'Toole? Yeah. This is your base here. It's interesting that he, he, it's interesting he doesn't want the base in his party. But it's a fact, because he's taking this party to be the liberal. His party is more to the left than the, liberals, uh, the ruling liberals of Paul Martin and John Chrétien on almost every issue. OK? So he truly is making this a liberal party. Now, the regular liberals are off the deep end. They're not remotely liberal, okay? But he's making this the new liberal party, all right? And he doesn't care about the issues that energize the base. And he's, and you know, again, he's just throwing out the people who have supported this party for years and years. But the good news is, is that politics isn't about parties. It's about people, it's about values, and it's about ideas. And if they want to, you know, have the brand name, let them have it. We're going to have a movement that puts Canadians first, that puts truth first, and that makes sure that we don't let this corruption back into this country. And there's so many things here that we have to deal with.